to throw a salt pig and we're going to use 1.25 pounds of clay um, and we're assuming 12.5 percent shrinkage rate it's going to be 3.75 inches tall 3.25 inches wide at the opening and five inches bellied out here okay so i'm going to open this kind of like a bowl because you kind of want it to be a bowl inside so um and people in, when it was doing the thing yesterday wanted to know so this is about four inches um just as the flat disc centered before you do anything and i'm going to just open it like I would a bowl so I'm not going straight down like I would. And this is how I do my teapot base too. Um, the same type of shape. And then I don't want it to be too thick because I don't want to have to trim much off of it if at all. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm going to get a little bit more. And I'm just using the bowl rib kind of round it out before I start pulling it up. So you wanted a thicker bottom than you found with the pokey thing? Yeah, I wanted a thinner, thinner, thinner so I'm going down a little bit. Just because you don't want to have to do much more than just round it, if at all, for trimming. Okay, so now I have what you consider the start of a ball. So I'm going to just start pulling it up. I'm just digging my thumb in to bring it up. And then I'll bring this here to start with. So now I'm going to do my claw pull. But instead of going straight up for a cylinder or out for a um, bowl, I'm going to kind of start the shape right as I start throwing. So I'm going to go grab it. And I'm going to go out. And then I'm going to kind of bring this in. So it's kind of got the basic shape right mm -hmm. now. So now all I have to do is... Make it bigger. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna dig it in and I'm gonna just raise this up. Bring that in. And I kind of like how I did that kind of a fatter rim. I thought it looked cuter. I'm not sure it has any any significance other than that. And now I'm just going to use my round rib to kind of start pushing the clay into it. So it's kind of the way this guy works is if you put it in a shape and push to it, it creates that shape. So I want this to be bellied out. So I'm holding it here and then I'm just going to push to it from down here and then right there and then I want this to be kind of in and then I'll check the shape so let's see where we are for this so what did I say uh, three 3.25? 3.25, so I'm just going to bring it in just a little bit. And that's the opening. And the reason why I'm doing it 3.25 is I want to see, I have some corks. So I want to see if the cork would fit there. That way when you're not using it, you could stick the cork in there. Mm -hmm. Like if you have dogs like I do. So that you don't get salt out and it has hair, dog hair all over it. <laughs> um, something, For some of us, the dog would eat the cork. But... That's true. Well, don't put it on your floor. Do you think the counter is off limits? Yes, that's true. Your dogs are very well behaved, though. No, not not quite. No. My dog would do it, but. And then let me just double check this. Yep. So it's about four. Four point two five. And then I'm just gonna chamois this so it's kind of got a nice round edge there and then I'm just going to undercut this guy right here to get rid of some trimming 
And I'm using this tool, but you can easily use your knife tool to do the same thing. But if you're gonna stick with pottery, I would get one of these tools, it's like one of my favorite tools. So, but you can go in here and just go down to do the same thing. And then I don't wanna trim much, so I'm just gonna go back in with this Asian trimming tool that I have and just trim that a little bit. So that all I should have to do is smooth out the bottom. Then I'm just gonna make sure I got the water out of here. And then I'll just let it set up out of the speckled clay. And so I just trim the bottom so it's round. Thank you. And um, you can do this on the counter. You don't have to do it here. And I'm just gonna kind of look. I want it to be a little bit angled up so my salt's not gonna come down. So I'm just gonna, and then you're just flattening it out until you, you know, like the look of it and then set it off to dry and uh, yeah. and then you're done. Well.